today I thought I'd be talking about some stuff I have added to my kits and everything on my sword kit that I went through yesterday I got noticing on the first aid part I had bandages and uh, medicines in this part and in this part so I put all the bandages in this part and all the medicines and stuff in this part to kind of separate the two and I still have odds and ends in the middle part but that's my marble sword and I have added to my winter kit Funk pocket. I, I just added this stuff so I'm still kind of learning where the new stuff is got some UCO stormproof matches cart ball in there there's the matches and extra striker wanted to add a Sawyer Mini to this kit but when I went to go pick one up they were out of Sawyer Minis. And in this part, added some Tylenol. And I moved the Kudu knife into the tool part. And I also added a roll of dog waste bags. Like I said, I bought a four pack of these at the Dollar Tree. So I put them throughout my kits. In this part, Put the whistle. In this pocket right here, I did add the hand sanitizer. And I added a Bible into this part. And my mask is still in this part. Backpack still there. Still empty pocket on this side. And to give it a little bit more insulation, I added this jacket to it. I figured that would be a good idea. So if it got colder, cold enough for the coat, that'll help give it a little bit more insulation to it. And I'm not going to add nothing to its pockets, which it's got two right here two in the back and one inside but when I was going to get a Sawyer Mini which they were out of I was going to put it right here where it unzips right there I thought that would have been a good place for it there's some more odds and ends that I did pick up some lunch and loaf at the Dollar Tree small can of it figured that would be a pretty good size it had a pretty good date 2025 
on there. And then I picked up some chicken bologna. It has a date of 2023. I picked this up at a grocery store when I went to Aldi. And then I went to the grocery store right across the street from it. And seen that and thought that give that a try. That's a couple of ideas in yesterday's video also I did say that case struck and I did try it out which I did so I thought well I'd show you guys that it does work gotta get it out gotta get my fingers on that little loop there my little loop fell off from it I'll fix that later these are Zar Strike Anywhere matches. Head fell off that one. Sorry about that. It seems like it don't. I can't get it now. There it goes. But it does work. Now I'll attempt to repair this. Squeezing the wire. Got my multi tool out of my coat kit. Got it back on there the best I could. My spare flints shifted on me and I couldn't get the matches back down in there. That's the fire kit from my marbles machete. Like I said, I'm still working on these. Try putting a list together on stuff I'd like to try to 
get for these like I'm wanting to get some oil for sharpening to put in here so I don't know if the baggies will stay in here I'd like to try to keep the little roll of bags in here with this but so far I don't know and I'm wanting to get a small pen or a pencil cut down and put in here with the compass but that's the swamp master and on my sock backpack I did attach a machete to it Put a small first aid kit in here so far. A Zippo lighter. The main part, I put a ShamWow. Front pocket. I put the little camouflage cover in here. Put a flashlight. Flashlight takes uh, two AAA batteries. Put one of these little painter bars in here. Black Legion knife. This is another one I'm wanting to get a Sawyer Mini for. And the hookups for the water bag. I attached the machete here with some paracord. Machete is just a cauldron's machete that I reprofiled for it. And in my book, there's just no right or wrong way. For prepping, I what I did is just build a list of what I'm wanting to do, and just go from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and leave your comments if you'd like. Subscribe to this channel and share this video. And thank you, and may God bless you.